people welcome to at Atalanta at home the UEFA Champions League crown of a quarterfinals where everyone expected Liverpool to win this game you know to walk this game but you know I would say you know some gambling you know and uh, some rotation that Jurgen Klopp was and did that were unnecessary in this game I uh, really won the game for Atlanta uh, Atlanta really dominated the game with that man marking you know style of them playing and Liverpool were unable to come out of the get I I was so frustrated watching it I really got frustrated and I cannot say much about it and you know I cannot even stop talking about it but the thing is that I really really didn't think it was necessary for him to start Curtis Jones who came back from injury and you know Ibrahim Konate I don't think those two should have started the game uh Kwanza deserves to start the game uh I think he was better he's you know, in a better mindset than Ibrahim Konate currently for him to play for Liverpool. I don't know whether Ibrahim Konate currently is not in a good mindset to play for the team. I might be wrong. I might be just having my own thoughts and, you know, opinions. Um, but that's how I felt. Uh, another thing is that it was really a rush of Jurgen Klopp to take uh, Javier Elliott at Ali. If there was no knock or anything, you know, if he was bringing Mo Salah, he could have taken, you know, any other player, you know, to bring on and, you know, resting players. I don't think this was the time for him to rest players. This was the team for him to rest players against. I don't think Atlanta was as a big team that we lost to them before at Alt at Anfield. We played at played them at Anfield before and lost to them. And you know, uh he he really, really gambled it and the gamble didn't pay off which uh i really didn't like it uh, on the other side you know um it was nice to see chota come back and uh have its few minutes run i don't think him bringing um Soboslai was a good thing actually because Soboslai did nothing Javi Oleg could have stayed more longer and you know Soboslai Let's say if Javi Olet couldn't do anything, you know, when Mo Salah and Ko came, uh, he should have, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I think there was many ways Andrew Robertson should not be on the bench. He should have started the game because when he came, like there was a bit of a threat, you know, uh, he shouldn't have taken um, Nunes because Nunes was another threat, you know. He was keeping those defenders silent, even though now no one kept them anything silent. But all in all, our defenders were really poor. Kelha really played well. Really, Kelha saved the third goal, but there was no one to save him, to help him out, to clear. Kelha couldn't do anything about it. The fourth goal, the third second goal, because defenders were all over the place. Um, Konate and uh, Gomis were not on the same page, you know. And, you know, all in all, we really played poorly and we deserve to lose. Uh, we lost our Anfield uh, unbeaten run for the season and since we lost to Real Madrid last year in the Champions League, the, that was the first loss we got. And uh, us losing today, you know, means that all those good starts have left. Uh, on, the other side, on the other side of the thing, Atlanta really played well. Atlanta really kept the ball, you know. Atlanta really pressured, uh, really went for Liverpool and especially from 70th minute where Liverpool really looked, you know, all over the place. They were desperate, you know. Atlanta were just, you know, trying to show them, you know, weaknesses and they, when Liverpool tried to rush forward, you know, they lose the ball, you know. They were not fast and Atlanta were, you know, fast to everything. And, you know, it really, really paid them, uh, for them and now they are going 3 nil up to their home yard, you know. <clears throat> and it's really, you know, hard to argue against, you know, when your team has lost for 3 nil at home. Like, I don't think Liverpool will come back. I've always believed Liverpool can do something, especially in Europe. I never lose hope in them. But seeing how they played today and how they played on... Uh, Sunday or Saturday, whatever, whenever we played, I really don't think Liverpool, you know, I think they're running out of steam. Um, I don't know, but hopefully I'm wrong. But Liverpool are currently running out of steam. 
and they are toothless and Crystal Palace awaits us on Sunday and I'm really scared now. Now I'm really scared. I know this one is gone, you know. And this was the only cup that Jürgen Club hasn't won for Liverpool and winning it could have meant a lot, you know. Imagine losing two, three cups in one week, you know. One in less than in a month, I mean. Like we lost to Manchester United the FA Cup and now we're losing the Europa League and we lost already there. We already lost the Premier League to that draw that against Manchester United, which I really, really think we could have won that game. And even if we, you know, we didn't win that, you know, at the end of the day, now we are second and same points, but how many goals behind? Maybe five, six goals behind, which is hard to overturn, you know, at this moment. And the way Arsenal are playing, they look, you know, they are, in for, they are up for it. Uh, but the way Man Liverpool are playing, they don't look up for it, you know. They were so desperate, they were so shaggy, they were so... I even don't have some words to explain the game, you know. That's how what, how I felt, you know. I was so, so annoyed with the way they played from minute one, actually. I'm not going to pretend here and say that I enjoyed the game. I don't mind us losing, but let's lose you know, with the dignity, you know. Like, there's no way, you know, we rush in, there's no quality, you know, in the final third or the, you know, from our midfielders. I didn't see... Soboslai, I didn't see whoever played. The only player that was play, the only midfielder that was playing was taken off. So I really don't know. He have you already looked good, but he was taken off. So now I even don't understand. So, what do you guys think? Uh, how do you think Liverpool can come back from three 0 down? Do you guys see any uh, thing? Or any way that Liverpool can come back. I, I don't see it and I don't think it. But, you know, we might differ in our opinion. And, in you know, hopes. I'm, let me, let's say, you know, because there's no way, you know, you go to Mbagamo and start winning, you know, 3-0. Uh, even though they did it at Anfield. We, it's never, you know, last time we played at Bagamo, we won 5-0. But it has been a long time ago, so... Let's see, let's see what happens. So yeah guys, I'm gonna leave it there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Me ranting and crying over. Liverpool losing. It's my everything, you know, Liverpool is my everything. Hopefully, you know, I'm wrong. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.